Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get Netflix, Hulu, and even Disney Plus up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4 running Raspbian. Now this is a pretty easy method. There's six steps here in terminal that we need to do. But I do want to mention before we get started that this method is not by me. This is by a user who goes by the name Vince over on vpetkov.net. And I'll leave links to that website in the description. Everything you need to know is over there already. You can just copy and paste from that website and get it up and running in no time. But in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps. And by the way, this will work with Amazon Video or even Spotify also. What we're really doing here is installing a spoofed Chromium web browser that has Widevine DRM built in so we can use all of those apps from the Chromium browser on our Raspberry Pi 4. Now, in order to get this working, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi 4 running Raspbian. And I do recommend overclocking your Raspberry Pi 4 for better playback performance. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started here, I do want to give a big shout out to Pi Lab over here on YouTube for tipping me off to this. And I also want to give a big shout out to vpetkov.net. There's a user over there who goes by the name Vince, and I'm not exactly sure if that's the owner of the blog, but it's called My Life at 2 a.m. Either way, I'm going to leave links to Pi Lab's YouTube channel in the description and vpetkov.net. That's where you can find all the information on getting this up and running. So in order to get started, first thing we need to do is clear the cache and cookies on our Chrome browser. So we're going to go ahead and launch it. Up at the very top here, customize and control Chromium, settings. From the settings menu, advance, privacy and security, clear browsing data. And from here, I'm just going to go all time. It's going to clear the cookies, browsing history, and cached images. So we'll clear the data, and we're going to close Chromium down. So now that we've just cleaned Chromium, we can get started here. So in the description, I'm going to leave a little text file. I'm also going to try to type this out here. Sometimes it won't let me. But this is all we need to do to get this up and running. There's one, two, three, four, five, six steps. Very easy to do. We're going to open up Terminal from the top here, or you can press Control alt t on your keyboard. Like I mentioned, I will leave all of this in the description. The easiest thing you can do is download the text file and copy and paste it. I will leave it on screen also, but these get a bit long-winded. First thing we need to do, sudo su. Next up, we need to go to the Chromium browser directory. So that'll be number two on the list here. We're going to cd into the Chromium browser directory. Now we need to download the new Widevine binaries from vpetkov. So we'll go with number three here, wget. We're going to unzip them. The next thing on the list, we need to download the spoofed Chromium browser. And finally, unzip it. And that's it. We can close these down. We can't access it from the browser that's listed here, but if we go to internet, we now have the spoofed Chromium browser. So we'll go ahead and launch this. And if everything went right, we'll be able to go right to Netflix and start playing directly on our Raspberry Pi running Raspbian. I'll go ahead and sign in. And here we are. Netflix is now up and running. We can go full screen with it if we want to. It's very easy to do. So I'll back out of here, and I'm going to just head over to Hulu real quick. And here we are with Hulu. So we're running Hulu just fine on the Raspberry Pi 4. Last one, we'll hit up Disney+. 
and Disney Plus. It's now up and running. Full screen mode works. Looks pretty good. Playback is pretty decent. Definitely overclock your Pi. It's going to help out a lot. But overall, I think this is a great little addition to the Raspberry Pi. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and even Spotify up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.